Time for the cool wall. Yeah. And we're beginning. We're beginning by moving all the four-wheel drive cars down. All of them. All what? of them are going down. No, hang on. What? Times have moved on, Richard. Twenty-first century and all no, that. I, look, okay, I appreciate, it, but not all four by fours are driven by women around Chelsea. No, <laughs> I, listen, I agree with you. I agree. I'm sure with most people here that four by fours are not killing polar bears. But well, some of us live in the country. We need them. You can't move them all down the wall. Cars are all about pulling women. For us, obviously. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? For blokes, yeah. it's what it's all about. You're not going to pull socialist women with these because they don't like them. Well, what does that matter? I don't. Sorry, mate. You're not making any socialist sense. Socialist women are better in bed than Tory women. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way, okay? I'll give you a straight choice: Vanessa Redgrave or Anne Widdicombe. Crikey, Vanessa Redgrave. There you are. <laughs> Vanessa not... Redgrave, and as a result, they've all got to come down the board. They're not cool anymore, driving around in them. They're just not. And do you know what I'm going to do to celebrate this? I'm going to buy a Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm going to get a V8 one, petrol. Look at that. Quicker than a Ferrari 575, quicker than an M5. So that's where it goes on the power board. Now let's find where it goes on the cool wall. Yes, there it is. The cool wall. Oh, yeah. And we begin with the Exige. There it is. I want to talk about the colour first of all. It's in white, it looks brilliant in white, and that's because white is like the up-and-coming colour. Isn't it? Absolutely like is, and it 911, looks... brilliant in white. Golf GTI, Ford GT, it's the iPod thing. You know iPods are white? Yeah, cool. And because of that, I've now bought a pair of white sunglasses. They're not cool, actually, no. <laughs> no. Just the exception that's pool proving the rule. I admit some things don't work in white. Shoes, for example, white yes. shoes, teeth. Get off. Um, <laughs> wondered how long that, that would does take. look fantastic. It does in white. work in white, and now we must decide where to put it on the board. And um, well, it's a brilliant car. A yeah, brilliant car, really as is. you showed, and it's uncool. It is uncool, it's trying too hard. I'm sorry, did anyone hear that? No, 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 you're breaking your own rule. The Christie's got Thomas rule. What about she, it? Well, you're gonna pitch up in that. Yeah. Do you want to come out in more Lotus? Yes. No. I'm sorry, Richard. This no, is no, 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 because you have to explain what it is all the time. You don't. It's yes, a very cute little car. It's like a supercar, but it's only 30 grand. And oh, you'll I'm find sorry. yourself going, oh, it's practically a supercar, this, my dear. It's not... It's not practically. It's a very brilliant car, and that is an end of it. Yes, am I right? Hands up if you think I'm right. These you are think your I'm right. There you are. They agree with me. A man in shorts agrees, and that's that decided. <laughs> that's Actually, you like it. it. You think it's good? Good car. You think it's cool? Nice cool car. You well, think it's cool? You You're wearing serious? shorts, it's ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a shame. That's another British car company up the Swanee. <laughs> um, this, Ducati 1098. I'm sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> It's a Ducati 1098. I'd like to put it forward to go on the board. In fact, I'd like to put it in the cool... I, I seriously know there's every reason why this is a very, very cool bike. It's an Italian superbike, but it isn't just technically very, very clever. It also looks beautiful. Touch the nerve there, I think. With that touch the nerve. I may Do have... not put a motorcycle on the board. Now look what's happened. <laughs> I'm sensing disagreement Run. from you. <laughs> Run or you'll be a lot shorter. I'm gonna. <laughs> and now we must move on to do the cool wall. The Citroen C6, the car Jeremy has just reviewed. Now, one thing it has in its favour, exclusivity. Absolutely. In a queue in that, you'll be looking around, let's see who else has got one of these. No, it's just me. It it's is, and the rare. great thing about driving one of those is everyone will think you are an assassin. Yes, they will. <laughs> it's Who's that man? Now, you're going to have to narrow that down for us, Jeremy. He's French, go. that Frenchman. You're going to have to focus that a bit more, mate. Well, what man? Yeah, what the mean? guy who was in Ronin and Leon. In the film? Yeah, oh, coolest the cool man guy. in the world. What's his name? John what? John Renault. John Renault? Oh, that's annoying, because that's ruined my <laughs> argument. He's a very John cool Renault man. John Renault would have yes. a Citroen. 
I know that sounds weird, and that makes it virgin and I fact, think you're right. super I think cool you're right. car. Mercedes SLK 55. Oh, yeah. dear. Thank you. Who I'm with that? him. Who said that? <laughs> it's a fantastic car. But you own one, so it's uncool. Aha, yes. yes! And there you have hit upon the nail, as it were, yes. because your well, own rules. No, my own rules. I say if we buy a car, then it becomes uncool, OK? Obviously. It gets worse with this. Jamie Oliver's got one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the tum and the tongue of both hit this car, OK? <laughs> Even if it had been any good, which it isn't, it's ruined. What? It's ruined. It's, it's awful. awful. What? You know Sophia in the office? May have noticed her. <laughs> it's not entirely unattractive. She likes that. I... Tiffany Dell, he likes okay, that. OK, but that Do you still like cannot... it? Do you like it? Say yes. It's quite sexy. Yeah. It's quite it's, it's more not. than quite sexy. <laughs> listen, it's very, very, it's very listen, sexy. Listen, you have got that that point badly wrong. I've been struggling with this next one. Oh yeah, no, that is quite a, a bit of a difficult call. What do we do? We could put it mm, Yeah, I don't know. The Nissan Micra. <laughs> mm. It's the really the decision is <laughs> how far down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. And, and to be honest... That's cool leave you a girl. That's been kind it's, of... I'm what? sorry. That's cool leave you a girl. Have you seen your ears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, really. I know girls who like pink cars. You know girls. Yes. Is the interesting part. Yeah. <laughs> is that car cool? No. Do you know him? No. <laughs> there you go. Let's just find some more. The Nissan Micra in pink. Cool? No. No. I think it's cool. Cool. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'd, I'd go with that. You think it's cool? Yeah. Why do we invite these people? Well, why, do you ask, why do you ask their opinion? It's really, trust me on this, if you drive one of those, it's not a cool look. I know about sartorial elegance. <laughs> What you're looking at is a man in a car who's going to say, Ooh, look, the little nose has been designed to look like a Formula One car. <laughs> so, in talking of Formula One, if you, no, you never watch Formula One, when the safety car goes out, which is one of those, you can hear it over the sound of the F1 engine. Well, who are you going to impress with? Oh, yes, did you know you can hear my car over the sound? <laughs> That's louder than a Formula One car. It's pathetic. It's covered in stupid little scoops and spikes. Hey, I'll tell you something else. You know when you're going along in this? Mm -hmm. You know this winking thing you've got about yes. people wink at you if they recognise something special and all the powers hidden no, in everybody it. winks at you. One of those men who know cars, they look at that and they go, I know what that is, that's a 55, yeah. winking. No, you've said it yourself. Men wink at you when you drive that. <laughs> well, come on. Clearly. I know grooming's important when you're a homosexual. I'm that's not why. <laughs> I haven't had my teeth whitened. <laughs> now you, you just get, get that man winking thing in. Can we move on? Yep. Can we talk about this? The Peugeot 207. French, small, cool. Normally you'd be right, but you're wrong. It's not. It's what? not. It's not cool. It's Peugeot. All they make French the... Superminis are cool. You know that. Apart from the Peugeot, they make some of the least cool cars in the world. Who's tucked his shirt in? Me? What? Well, there you are. You don't know what cool is. Well, at least I can see where to tuck it in underneath. There's... <laughs> It might have been a low blow. Well, for me, it was a high blow, but you see what I mean. What are you doing? I'm texting Kristen Scott Thomas. No, you're not. I am. Why? Because she is the arbiter of all these things, yeah. and she will tell us whether this is cool or not. What, so you're going to text? It isn't cool. It, how do you text? Oh. <laughs> to Look, seriously, so somewhere in the world on a film set, cool. a glamorous actress is going to receive a text from an old man on a car show <laughs> asking about a French hatchback. Phone book. God, you've got a number. Uh, there. How drunk was she when she gave you <laughs> She was tied up, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you really sent that? Yes. And you think she's going to respond? And if my bottom vibrates at any point with a text back, well, that's going, I'll move it down, but it's cool now. No, hang on a second. Let's do it the other way. Move it up if she texts you. Yeah. Thank you. What have you got there? This is the new Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. What do we think? How cool's that? This, what? Sub Zero in the fridge. Sub Zero. Sub Zero. In the fridge. Sub Zero. Sub -zero. Yeah. Oh, hold All on, wrong. Hold on, hold on, everybody, with your opinions. There's a couple of really crucial things you need to know about this car. Number one, he's just bought one. Look at this. 
Number two, I'm having the wall extended through that wall down there <laughs> to add a new really, 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 really seriously uncool I'm section. afraid that is true. Presenter. Obviously, if We've we buy one, one, we ruin the reputation of that car, which is why we put that over there. But this, the Ford GT, can at last come up here because yeah, I've got rid of it. Check it out. That looks all right. Hey, no, it looks OK. It looks OK, this thing, OK? It's got a chassis tuned by Lotus. That's they cool. used to be cool before he came along. Spoil it. <laughs> Costs less than £6,000. Have a look. And it's a small car, small. and small cars are generally quite cool. And it's called a Proton Savvy. Oh, it's failed. <laughs> I mean, savvy means discerning. Time for the cool wall! Yes, it is! Oh, yes. And we start with, uh, well, I think quite an easy one, actually. It's the new Aston Martin, the AMV8, the baby Aston Martin. As Easiest one we've ever done, is it not? Yes, it is. Uncool, it's a baby Aston Martin. It is! It's an Aston... It's an... Now, think of... No, hang on. When was think the last time this? somebody dropped something very heavy on one of your feet? Surprisingly, not that long ago. No, think Don't be ridiculous, It is, man. because if you want an Aston Martin, you buy a DB9, a full-size one, not a baby one. It's, it's a freezing cold car. By your own rules, you big oaf. Footballer's car. It's no, a no footballer's... No footballer will buy this car. Footballers yes, are like... Will. No, they won't. They're like jackdaws. They only like shiny things. Oh, I'll have that ring and I'll have that. They'll have the Vanquish, they will not have this. It's going in the special DB9 yeah, super cool fridge and that's Absolutely. an end of it. You will all regret that. You will no, all regret it. I'll do you a deal, mate. As soon as a Premiership footballer, we even get a whiff that one has bought one of those things, I'll bring it down the board. But until then, no way. So if a footballer buys it, I can set fire to the picture and that's it. Yes. Right, and Listen, that's happen. footballers of the world, do not buy a baby Aston, OK? Saving up, I'll buy you one. Ooh. What about this, the Skoda Fabia VRS? Ooh. Ooh. What are we thinking? Really? Seriously, Uncle. Why is that? Ugly. 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 Cheap, it's a Skoda. It's a Skoda? It's a Skoda? Yeah, he's right, he's right, he's got a modern haircut. What the hell's happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> are you treading on one of the cables? <laughs> On the God, <laughs> let's get the makeup girl, see if we can get that put back down again. What's your opinion on the Skoda? Oh, it's rubbish, isn't it? Skodas are always yeah. it's hideous. It's hit well, I don't know, it's, well, it's hideous. not hideous. It's not a bad looking car. You it's drive just past a, a bar full of women and nobody's gonna turn and look at that. Well it's absolutely ugly. <laughs> Drive past a bar full of women, nobody's going to look at you in that. No. Shirt yep. is what she was saying. <laughs> this is a deep... All Skodas are deeply uncool. And Basically, they go down they're, here and they're just the Volkswagen's are we right? mean people. What's it? Now, next one. Porsche 911. GT3 RS. GT3 RS. It's a brilliant, brilliant car. But... Even I'm not going to argue that that's cool. The scaffolding. Kristen Scott Thomas, this is the test we have, as you know. She gets in that. Why have you got scaffolding in the back? You're going to have to explain. It's a roll cage in case I fall over and park on the roof. In case I roof. roll over, she's just yeah. going to get out. Why yeah. has it got a fire extinguisher? In case we burst into flames on a racetrack. Because obviously oh, all God. that stuff in there is like her opening the glove box going, why have you got Dettol in here? Well, it's in case my eye infection flares <laughs> up again. <laughs> so it's going right down here, unbelievable. I'll tell you what, you know if you put a cockometer at the side of the road? A what? A <laughs> cockometer. You know you drive into villages these days, it tells you your speed. If there was another one alongside, like one of those thermometers outside a church, telling you how much of a cock you look... <laughs> This be right off the scale if you drove by in one of those. I'm not joking. Shagula XK. Ah. Well, I'm sorry, where are we? <laughs> Who said Sub Zero? Sub Zero, you think? Definitely. Where do you work at Jaguar? <laughs> what do you do? Do you like this? Do you work for Jaguar? Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid this it's is... not cool. It's sad, this, isn't it? It's a sad moment. I'm afraid Jaguars still have a whiff of the golf club about them. They do. They do. There's that. What? They're copying Aston. Well, 
Yeah, hold on a sec, you think it's... <laughs> I think an Aston Martin, it looks like an Aston Martin. They're copying it, they've lost all their imagination, they're just copying other cars. Well, no, the thing is, it's designed by the same man, actually, that did it. And the, but there the... you go, then. Yeah, but, you know, if I said you look like Cameron Diaz, would that make you less cool? No, absolutely not. I totally agree. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous car, yeah. but they've lost their imagination and they're copying Aston Martin. It, but that, it doesn't... They're Jaguar, they're not Aston Martin. She's, well, she's informed. <laughs> well, she has a, I mean, she has a point, but that's not the problem with it. The, the problem, problem is it's the double-breasted nature of the people who drive them. Yeah. But, I mean, they've still made it big enough to fit golf clubs in. If they'd made it just too small, like an inch, so you couldn't quite get golf clubs in, it would... <laughs> well, I'm afraid it's not cool. And that is so pissing off our director, because he's just bought one. Yes! <laughs> hey, now, Vauxhall Astra. VXR, what are we thinking? <laughs> no, cool. Come on. Again, it is cool. Any car that if you're at a party and somebody says, what have you got on an Astra, and then you have to explain, no, it's a VXR, it's got 240 brake horsepower, it's special. That's no, uncool. listen, listen, listen. You won't be at a party in one of these because you'll have torque steered into a tree on the way. <laughs> and you'll be killed, and that's important. To die in an anecdote is important. Dying age 78 with a tube up your nose, how are your children going to dine out on that? Daddy died in a fireball, in a Vauxhall, in a tree, spot on. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing as well. You said to someone, I've got a Vauxhall Astra, OK? Ooh, he's an accountant. I've got a VXR. I'm an accountant for the SAS. That is a cool <laughs> car. Promise you. Right. Now, now it is time. It is time to do the cool wall. Yeah. Unfortunately, the cool wall was one of the major casualties in our fire, um, but we will persevere. Yes, we will, yes. and we're going to kick off with this. Yes! It's... Uh, is it a golf? No, is that's more headlamp? an alpha. I don't know, that headlamp. That, I think yeah, that's that is... an alpha. No, what, is I don't know. <laughs> what do you think that is? It's an Audi. It's a figure right. How empty is your life <laughs> that you are able to determine that this is an Audi from that <laughs> photograph? This isn't working. No, just, this is not working. Look, I mean, even if we could put them up, it won't be much of This it. just, it's ruined. The cool yeah. wall's ruined. Sorry. Um, when Vicky Butler Henderson burned the, uh, burned the cool wall, <laughs> yeah. she thought she'd flummoxed us. But it doesn't matter, because we're going to move on... <laughs> To something else that isn't but James yes. May hasn't been burned! Hurrah for that! <laughs> no, actually, I'm fine. Oh, hang on. What, have you got your text? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me, I thought it vibrated. <laughs> hey, now, Saab 95. Uncool. What? Saabs, they're uncool. No, they're not the cool. No, they're bought by people who think they're being cool, and that is uncool. They're not. A Mondeo is actually cool. A Saab, it's just a, it's just a vector in one of those fashionable suits with no collar, made by, by Ikea or no, something. They're cool, or rather, they used to be. Because they've just restyled it for uh, the next year. You want to see what they've done? Yeah. They've fitted it with Dame Edna Everidge's spectacles. <laughs> Have they done that? Yeah. <laughs> So I saw one of those on the road. I thought somebody had done it to his own car. Oh, it's an uncool car, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh, uh... Come on, then, let's see, finally. Has she? She hasn't, has she? No. <laughs> Jeremy... <laughs> Jeremy who? Maybe I put a, should have put Jeremy Clarkson at the end. Off Top Gear. Oh, yeah. The tall bloke. Yeah, the car programme. No, but listen, we've got, what, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes left. <laughs> There's yeah, time. Of course, mate. There's time to save the 207, but now we must move on. The Koenigsegg, OK? Now, you saw this a couple of weeks ago, came here, nearly killed the Stig. Normally, supercars are uncool, That's OK? True. If we look down here, there's the old Koenigsegg and the uh, Ford GT and so on. They're all down there. But this one is so scary, we think... We think it's cool. Yeah, just because it's dangerous. Because it's... <laughs> it, it, no, genuinely. Because if you go through the pearly gates backwards in a fireball, <laughs> that's a cool way to die. I, I love that vision of just blasting through the gates backwards in a flaming Swedish supercar. Yes, I'm here! Where are the women? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because if you get wheeled through the pearly gates with a grey face and a tube up your nose... That's, that's not cool! <laughs> Come on in, in your flaming supercar. So I don't think it's super cool, but it's certainly cool. Are we right? Yes. yes, that is a cool car. What have you got? That is a Kia Seed. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, yes, now, hang I'm on. Losing the will no. to live. Ah, I'm no. Does no. anybody here think that's cool? No. 
rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Have you driven one? No, I wouldn't want one. No, yes. No. Did someone say yes? Bet, yes, there's a lady here. You've saying driven yes. a Kia Seed. I work for Kia. <laughs> 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 ah. On purpose, or is it just like bad in un unemployment in your no, town? It's a fabulous car and it's a fabulous company. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping me now. No, except for one tiny detail. The Koreans eat dogs. <laughs> You're going to come down one morning and don't come crying to me if you find Top Gear Dog in a bap. <laughs> Again, it's this uncool. is your logic and it's frightening. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm on the money. Come on, be honest. <laughs> Why have you worked for Kia if you got a TVR T-shirt on? Because TVRs are British and they're fast and they're sub-zero. Everything Kia's aren't. Let's be... <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> BMW M6. We had it in programme one of the series. That is a seriously cool car. It's a... <coughs> it's, a it's a BMW It's M an M-powered... Yes. M-powered BMs are cool. Really? Yes. Look at the size of the wheels and its stupid parrotfish face. <laughs> if I see somebody in one of those, it is big respect, because I think you have sacrificed your style, your di everything, you've got to BMW, just so you can have a 507 brake horsepower car. No. OK, try this on for size. The gearbox has 11 settings. How's that going to be? Oh, no, darling, let's get along the south coast, down to Monte Carlo, have dinner. I'll just set up the gearbox for driving in you France. You won't be doing that. Yes, you will. You'll you be won't. You will you'll buy it, set it to 500 maximum horsepower, set the gearbox in its most ferocious setting, tape it all down and just drive it. I promise you. And then you spend the rest of your life screaming whilst the girl next to you wets cool. herself. <laughs> it is no, super it cool. So you cannot have... You can't have a... You can't have a BMW engine. <laughs> Come on, give me a back. Give me a back. Give me a back. Difference is, I have to work with those two.